very strange wording for everybody involved. Leave it to me. I don't want to be her. Oh. Let's get yeah. this over with. So there's one thing Machias is okay. good for. Oh, Emma, I guess. Ah, uh, since they can't link with each other because they're pussies. I can run away with a 100% chance against these guys, but the other ones, no. Of course not. No, of course. That would be bad. Can't do that. Yeah. My turn. Right. I'll handle it. My turn. Mark. Right. Go. Go. I'll handle it. My turn. Now. Finish him. My turn. Very well. It's my turn. It's my turn. My turn. Very well. What a waste of time. Eat that. <laughs> oh, I can't do that one. <laughs> That's great. That's a cool little glitch. <laughs> oh, I guess. what a nice looking treasure chest. Okay, now it's now it's working again. <laughs> that was funny. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. I'll handle it. We start with crit. Target. Nice. I'll handle this. Yeah. It's Mike. Go. Welcome. Phew. <laughs> Fee, don't lick it. I'll handle this. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Done. Oh, cool. Good job, Usus. Your thing evolved, I guess. I also need to heal you all again. It's like I'm babysitting you people. Can I put Reen back in the active party yet? This monster seems dangerous. Be careful. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's fine. Leave it to me. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't shoot its with. tail. Okay. It's also not very good. I'll handle this. Still can't use Rain, so we don't have a get out of jail free card, fortunately. Yeah. Gleaming Glay. Now. There. Right. How about? 
My turn. Oh, My turn. Jesus. He's probably going to die. Yep, careless. there we go. Careless. And there's Usus. We're going to probably yeah. go ahead and and run. We should retreat. <laughs> Please excuse us. I'm out. Can't take that. I need my get out of jail free card, please. <laughs> just follow the road. Let's just get out of here. Ugh. Army's premier bases. Not how I was expecting it to look. They modified an older fort. A lot. Is something wrong, you? No, not at all. Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. That's a lot of tanks. Isn't that... It, it's... a freight train from Bereahard? Looks like it's carrying tanks. Pretty heavily armored ones at that. Those are the latest models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. Uh, how...? Come on. We have things to do. Hmm? Gosh, why does he have to be so... He's right, though. <laughs> we really should keep moving. Yeah. Before we go and talk to them, we get to go into the Crescent, Mo Crescent Moon Inn. Not you. Spare. Jesus. You. You've been getting called out here pretty frequently these days. Thank you for Red Moon Rose. We'll get reading uh, reading that get to reading that shortly. If I can spit the words out of my mouth. Who goes there? Wait. Aren't those uniforms? We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness. Just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well. <laughs> um, so we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. Well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Hmm? Huh? Wait. Oh! Lord Eustace! What brings you? Ah, th that uniform. Are you? Correct. 
I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alborea household. Please uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eustace. Wow. <laughs> Looks like even the Provincial Army will miss a chance to bend over backwards for him. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. Ah, you saw it? Our Provincial Army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. And we can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. Alrighty. Let's get our butts back to Beret hard. Wait. Oh. Thanks, Machius. What is the meaning of this? Machius? <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machius. He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? Oh, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Berehard. Yeah. Let's go, then. Get a little story on what's going on outside of the classroom. And yes, we do have to run all the way back to Berea Hard. That one looks annoying. It does look annoying. It also almost killed us. So I'm going to try to run past it. There we go. Oh shit, we got air sirens going. Well, okay. Certainly don't see that every day. Are birds like that common around? And it looked like a bird to me, Machius. Can we hitch a ride on your tanks back to Breahard, please? No, please, let us, let us hitch a ride.
<laughs> Alrighty. And let's get rid of Usus. Oh, we're also almost leveled up again. Well, might as well find another monster, I guess. I don't think we can, though. Oh, hello. You stupid dogs. No, you found me. How'd you see me from over there? Now's our chance. I'll handle it. Here we go. Yeah. Right. Neutral. An A plus out. A matter of. Now's our chance. My turn. No, only one of them this time. Come on. Come on. Give me a challenge. That one all right. I, did it. I say as I keep running away from dangerous situations. But hard mode is hard. Come on. We have the event. Here we go. Go. Welcome. Okay. Good work. Okay. Oh. Right. Should have used the zero arts. Okay. Got it. My turn. Okay. The battle's over. I feel like I'm going strong. Get everybody fighting fit again. Uh, Fee, you're like right there. Just go ahead and level up for me. Fight me. Come on. Turn around. And that took a long ass time. Here's your dumb salt, son. <laughs> and there we go. I think that's everything. Yep. 
Alrighty. Whew. Cold as ice, man. Almighty. Yeah. At this point, Rain and the others return to their rooms for a much-needed shower. Then, after a short rest, they headed to a restaurant in the central plaza for dinner. Ah, <sighs> the breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious, too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes. For a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on, dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figure that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. Huh? And I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement. Though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It... it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Hmm. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So, you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Oh, the travails of youth! How noble and beautiful they are! Oh, hi, Blue Blanc. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe? 
It's such an honor that you would remember a mere baron. I see you completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will, though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. Would you say it's tinged with the scent of cold steel? Okay, I'm sorry. I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is... A little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end, be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah. Something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger... ...is that he knew we only have one day left here. It, you're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. <sighs> Can't get to sleep? I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but... I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he... always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. In other words, I am his bastard son. I had no idea. 
So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences, but you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. There wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. <laughs> I uh, don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. Well. I owed you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your... reputation. That selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, it wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Eusis. Pleasant dreams. Someday. We've got another monster extermination and the bite of nostalgia. We have received word that a dangerous monster roams the North Croyson Highway. This is bad news for our hotel, so may I ask someone to please take care of it. Venus Man Trap Stone Bridge leading towards Keldick on the North Croyson Highway. Richelieu. Okay. 
I'd like to request someone's help in gathering a number of ingredients I need to make a particularly nostalgic dish. For more details, come find me at Sorcier, a restaurant in the Central Plaza. And there's a hidden side quest that I talked about before at Oryx Fort. Eustace Alborea. What is it, Marcus Regnitz? <laughs> I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Nonsense! I did no such thing! <laughs> I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... <laughs> asleep, no. were ya? Machias. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> <laughs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Lord Eusus. Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course. However, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you would accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Excellency may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... Uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Yusus any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh, certainly not. Still... What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma, I hope you're ready to score second on our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right.
Yusus temporarily left the party. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching.